हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू ईपीजी पाठशाला आई एम प्रोफेसर एस पी सिंह फ्रॉम फैकल्टी ऑफ मैनेजमेंट स्टडीज गुरुकुल कांगड़ी यूनिवर्सिटी हरिद्वार टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी मॉड्यूल 29 ऑन जॉब इवेल्यूशन फ्रेंड्स आफ्टर स्टडीइंग दिस मॉड्यूल यू शैल बी एबल टू नो द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ जॉब इवेल्यूशन understand the objectives of job evaluation comprehend the process of job evaluation understand the advantages and disadvantages of job evaluation comprehend the job evaluation methods become aware of the essentials for the success of job evaluation program know the limitations of job evaluation job evaluation is a technique used for determining the relative worth of each job in the organization the basic purpose of assessing the value of each job against another is to fix up the pay scale for each of these jobs job evaluation provides a critical input for the grading of jobs in the organization in an orderly and acceptable form in simple words job evaluation is the rating of jobs in an organization it attempts to compare the relative intrinsic value of jobs within an organization the essence of many definitions of job evaluation is the determination of the comparative value of each job in the organization the objectives of job evaluation to put in a more orderly manner are to provide a standard procedure for determining the relative worth of each job in a plant determine equitable wage differentials between different jobs in the organization eliminate wage inequalities ensures that similar wages are paid for the like work form a basis for fixing incentives and different bonus plans serves as a reference for resolving individual grievances concerning wage rates provide information for work organization employee selection placement training and numerous other similar problems provide a benchmark for making career planning for the employees in the organization though the common objective of job evaluation is to establish the relative worth of jobs in a job hierarchy there is no common procedure of job evaluation followed by all organizations advantages and drawbacks of job evaluation helps in developing an equitable and consistent wage and salary structure based on the relative worth of jobs in an organization job evaluation serves for minimizing conflict between labor and management which in turn assists in promoting harmonious relations between them job evaluation simplifies wage administration by establishing uniformity in wage rates it provides a logical base for wage negotiations and collective bargaining job evaluation provides the realistic basis for determining of wages improvement of selection transfer and promotion procedures on the basis of comparative job requirements assesses the job and not the workers assists in rating all the jobs so as to determine 
the wages and salary and eliminating ambiguity in them. Job evaluation is subjected to human error and subjective judgment. Job evaluation fixes variation between wages. Job evaluation methods being lacking in scientific basis are often looked upon as suspicious about the efficacy of methods of job evaluation. It is a time consuming process requiring specialized technical personnel to undertake it. Job evaluation is not found suitable for determining the comparative worth of the skilled oriented managerial jobs which cannot be measured in quantitative terms. Given the changes in job contents and work conditions, frequent evaluation of jobs is essential. This is not always so easy and simple. Job evaluation causes frequent and substantial modifications in wage and salary structures. Most organizations that pay wages use job evaluation. The rater simply ranks the various job and no attempt is made to determine the critical factors in each job. All the jobs are ranked in order of their worth from the simplest to the hardest or from the highest to the lowest. The importance of order of job is judged in terms of duties, responsibilities and demands on the job holder. Because of the difficulties in ranking a large number of jobs at one, the paired comparison technique of ranking is sometimes adopted. With this technique, decisions are made about the relative worth of one or two jobs at a time. The job grading method is based on the job as a whole. Under the method, an organized body or a committee establishes job grades or class. A job grade is a group of different jobs of similar difficulty requiring similar skills to perform them. Job grades are determined on the basis of information derived from job analysis. The job grades are arranged in order of their importance in the form of a schedule. The point method uses several factors common to the job under evaluation. Scales divided into point distances are used to determine the degree to which these factors are present in a given job. Once all the scales have been applied to each job being studied, the points chosen for each scale are added to provide a total for each job. The sum of points determines the relative worth of the job. The scales are used to measure the job and not the job incumbent. This method begins with the selection of factors such as mental requirements, skills, physical exertion, responsibility and job conditions. These factors are assumed to be constant for all the jobs. Each factor is ranked individually with other jobs. Total point values are then assigned to each factor. The relative worth of a job is then obtained by adding together all the point values. This method facilitates that jobs of different nature, for example, manual, clerical and supervisory, 
may be assessed with the same factors. However, this method is difficult and expensive. In this method, each job is individually compared with other job in the organization. If during the comparison, a job is found to have more value than another, it is assigned some reward points and at the end of the multiple comparisons, ranking are done on the basis of aggregate scores. In the paired comparison method too, a job described statement is an essential document for determining the relative worth of each job. The paired comparison method is simply and easy to compare one job with another. Each job gets equal attention in the multiple pair comparisons and thus better consistency is established in the job grading. However, it is a subjective process as the whole job is compared with another whose job and as such the unique job characteristics are overlooked in the comparisons. It is difficult to apply this method if there are a large number of jobs as multiple comparisons would involve numerous computations. There are certain essentials for the success of a job evaluation program. Compensable factors should represent all the major aspects of job content. Compensable factors selected should not involve excessive or overlapping, are clearly defined and measured and easily understood by employees and administrators and not cause extensive installation or administrative costs and be selected with legal consideration in mind. Operating managers should be convinced about the techniques and program of job evaluation are trained in determining and revising the wages. All the employees are furnished complete information regarding job evaluation techniques and programs. All groups and grades of employees should be covered by the job evaluation program. The program of and techniques selected for the job evaluation should be easy to understand by all the employees. Trade unions, acceptance and support to the program should be obtained. The job evaluation has certain limitations. The inaccuracy of information in the job description makes the job evaluation results inaccurate. The attitudes of union leaders towards job evaluation may be favorable or unfavorable. In several cases, it may not be supportive. Supervisors, management and employees are required to understand, accept and support the job evaluation system for its effective working. The challenges of a job evaluation program are also in choosing supervisors and other managers for participation in job evaluation groups and in getting their commitment to the process. Friends, in this module, you have studied the concept, the objectives, the process, the advantages and disadvantages of job evaluation. You have also studied the job evaluation methods and the essentials for the success of job evaluation program. Thanks for visiting the EPG Partshala.